So Kiri, are you ready? Are you ready for a, a lore or lie? Oh yeah, of course. Right. I I forgot about my reward again. Well, uh, don't worry because I haven't. How's it going, Leofish? Um, I have here for you. Okay. A, a juicy bit of lore or a lie. So, um, as you know, there are some chaos gods: Nurgle, Corn, Zinch. Um, but there are also some minor chaos gods in the Warhammer uh, fantasy lore. Uh, one of those chaos gods, um, or sorry, the, the minor chaos gods are, are kind of uh, allotted up into more kind of niche things. So, like, Corn is war. Um, you yeah. uh, know, Nurgle is like pestilence, and mm -hmm. Zinj is like mm -hmm. trickery and uh, and mysteries and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but the, the the more minor the chaos gods become, the more specialized they become. And there is one chaos god who is named Nicho, uh, whose entire existence is devoted towards making people believe that gods don't exist. Is that law? Or is that lie? But he's also a god. Yes. I think that's a lie. That is... Law. No! But, <laughs> but why? Is it just he's jealous of the greater gods? So he doesn't no, want it's anybody... Just, it's no! just it's it's what he's just decided to devote himself to. Yeah, you know, I guess we're, when they were all picking, you know, different causes out of the hat, he probably you know got the short end of the the, the straw stick, uh, and you know who's just like, oh, you got war, cool. I hope I get something good. And pulls it out of the hat. And is just like, oh, I'm the god of making other people believe that gods aren't real. That's really funny. That's not an existential <laughs> crisis at all. Yeah, poor guy. So, yes, that is indeed law. Okay, okay. Good to know. What was his name again? Uh, Nietzsche. Nietzsche, I'm, I'm all right. I'm not 100% certain on the uh, the pronunciation, but it's something along those lines. Okay, yeah. Cool. That, that surprised me. I thought that was... I mean, that doesn't count now, but I thought that was so, so absurd. It doesn't make any <laughs> sense. But then we, we had this earlier, right, where the more absurd it is, the more real it is, actually, so... Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. that's... I don't know why I thought that way. Just, it's okay. Yeah, well, you, you're still warming up. It was the first one of the night. Yeah, yeah, we'll true. We'll work it out. So one of the cool things I about like dragon it. ogres, I was uh, reading today during my research, was that uh, apparently dragon ogres are, ru are, are rumored to get as large as mountains, and they're actually fueled or powered by uh, being struck by lightning. Okay. <laughs> like, are you just like, oh, is, okay. Is that, is that true or is that like a no, no, that's, law that's or true. lie? Okay. <laughs> no, that's not a law or lie. That's just, I'm just telling you stuff. All right. <laughs> so it is law. Good. <laughs> it is law. I, I mean, assuming what I've read is correct. Probably. You know, just, I, I hope it's true. Otherwise, I've just been leading you astray. No, 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 no. I, I believe you. I was just not sure if that was another question for me or if that's actual research that you've done and yeah You're just testing you you're keeping me on my toes well always what, it's what tradition, kind of map right? is this to come back from a break oh yeah with, yeah uh, a lore or lie right absolutely i'm ready oh. okay all right so in warhammer lore there is a character named wolfric and he is a part of the norska which are like the uh, the tribes, the human tribes that live up in the far north, and they worship the chaos gods. Okay. And Walric is like one of their, you know, champions. He's like one of their strongest characters. He prides himself as being, you know, very tough and, uh, you know, you're very, very good in a fight. Uh, and one evening, he got a bit too cocky while drinking, and he pro proclaimed that he could kill anything. Um, and well, the Chaos Gods heard him and called his bluff on this. And they now routinely send him dreams uh, to find somebody and fight them. So he'll have like visions in his mind and he's compelled to go and find them and fight them. But because not always 
the person he's going to go and fight these great warriors and great creatures uh he he may not they may not want to fight him or they may be it may be against their nature to fight him um so to help him in his test to fight every great creature across the land they've gifted him with the ability to trash talk anybody he can literally taunt anybody into fighting him and he automatically knows how to speak their native language and inherently knows what will most effectively enrage them is this law kiri or is this a lie i I was very closely listening and I liked everything up until the point where you said they can trash talk every enemy. I believed it up until that part, but no, I think that's a lie. That is law. No! So, Admittedly, I don't think anywhere in the law so it refers to it as trash talk, but he definitely can taunt. <laughs> any uh being into fighting him wow okay and I, I suppose it makes sense with the chaos gods right because they want that chaos and they want the blood and carnage yeah so they exactly. want to encourage this I, I suppose it makes sense but it sounded so ridiculous again i when i read that one uh, i was like yeah that's a good one that's gone that's gone right in my uh that's yeah gone right in my basket that was a great pick perfect uh, do you have time for one last law or lie? Yes, yes, I have time for this. Okay, let's do right. one more. Uh, let's let's go. Um, so, uh, with ogres, uh, they like to eat, as you may know. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they also like to cook. Uh, but did you know that if ogres don't eat for at least uh, no, that's not the correct way of phrasing that. If ogres haven't eaten in at least two weeks, then their tongues may fall out. And it is a great thing of shame to be a tongueless ogre because it means that you have been unable to feed yourself and you have gone hungry. Do they regrow? Is this law oh. or is it lie? Do they regrow? <laughs> No, tongues huh. never regrow. And then they have to eat without tongues and just can't talk probably. Mm. Mm -hmm. We had two laws already. I really want to get one right. I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna stick with it. This is a lie. You've gone with three lies tonight, Kerry. Yes. How do you feel about that? I, I feel horrible because I didn't get it right. Did I get this one right? <laughs> <laughs> it is a lie. Congratulations. Ah, okay, you got one well. Right. But then again, that was something so absurd. It could have been true as well. You've, you've done a great <laughs> job again. <laughs> but like, how well, do they eat you. if they don't have a tongue, right? Like, if, if I'm that... pretty sure people without tongues can eat, right? Probably. I've not Pro looked into it. I've not done the logistics. Yeah, I mean, but... I suppose yes, right? But it's very inconvenient if that just falls out. Um, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Kiri, once again for the uh, for the total chaos. I appreciate it. Thank um, you as well.